According to the Hot Wheels Wiki, Sizzlers was a line of motorized Hot Wheels cars produced from 1970 to 1978. This particular car is referred to as the Ferrari Can-Am, although the bottom of this actually shows Ferrari 512S. This car was introduced in 1971 and used until 1973 when the line was discontinued. The Sizzlers line was put on hiatus after 73. In 76, they created Sizzlers 2 and then permanently stopped production in 1978. This car is filthy. <laughs> it's corroded. <laughs> you name it. it. The glass is terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got this car in a batch of cars that I bought, geez, a long time ago. It's a plastic body. And, and as you can see here, there's only, only that front piece is holding the car together, that, that melted shut section. And then there's a tab that sticks in the back of the top half of the body. Uh, so yeah, that, that's all that's holding it together is that little piece. It's all plastic except for the metal electronic parts, the battery and the motor. It's a plastic body, plastic windshield, plastic base, you name it. That isn't silver or gray paint. What you're seeing is corrosion. It, it's filth and corrosion. <laughs> um, those areas you see that are bluish and greenish, kind of, that's just from the battery and corrosion. So I know it's going to kill the purists, but the battery's going to go. I also took out a lot of the electronic connections in here um, because I didn't want anything else to jeopardize this car once it was done. So what you see me sweeping towards the bottom there is everything I'm tossing. Everything at the top of the screen is what I'm keeping. I threw selected pieces in the ultrasonic cleaner, thanks Phil, and to uh, clean them up and then I polished the hell out of that body. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get it. There were areas that turned out beautifully. And then there were some areas that were just beyond repair. They, they stayed white. They wouldn't clean up. And it seemed as though it would almost take too much to redo them. I, I don't know how to explain it other than that. So I painted it. I, I used Tamiya TS85 rattle can paint and uh, went over it with the Minwax clear, glo clear gloss poly that uh, you've seen me use so many times. And you'll see the results of that later. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. The glass, my God, after cleaning the glass, I sanded the heck out of it. And it's not really hard plastic but it's not that super soft plastic either. So it did respond to the sanding, but there were some areas that again, I think it must have had something to do with the electrical seepage, the battery seepage, um, that caused some damage to this windshield as well. And I, I don't know if it's from some kind of off-gassing from the battery section or what, but it, turned out okay. Not great. <laughs> Even with the gauzy, not great. And it was in particular the underside of the windshield that was the worst, which also makes me think it somehow relates to the battery section that was right below that. I did redo the chrome section of the wheels with the Molotow pin. And there you see where the front ones have already been done. The backs have too. I kept the motor I cleaned it up a little bit and then kept the motor because you need it for the rear axle. I didn't want to try and put axle tubes and figure out the how to elevate them in this because obviously the axle is through the center of that motor. The back wheels have rubber tires on them. And so it's like a red wine wheel with a rubber outer edge. The front wheels are interesting because they had just a real thin strip of rubber on them. You can kind of see it in the picture there. So the wheels, it makes the front wheels look like they're not touching the ground in some of the still shots. And you'll see that. 
Um, I did keep the battery switch, the on off switch for the bottom. And uh, that I didn't paint. Uh, I did clear coat that black uh, chassis section, for lack of a better way of putting it, uh, with Pledge. That did a nice job of shining it up. And then this chunk here, which is the motor, or well, the engine, the back end of the casting, and the interior section, I masked off the back half, sprayed it with semi-gloss black, and then some of the purists are gonna just hate what I'm doing with this car. <laughs> but I added some details. I mean, they're gonna be screaming that I ditched a lot of the electronics. I know that. Um, they're gonna be screaming that I'm adding these details that weren't there. Um, but I wanted them. <laughs> I figured if I'm not going a true or as true of a restoration as I can possibly do, I'm going to add some details to it. And there you see what I'm chroming there. It, those actually end up shining through holes in the top half of the body. And I do, uh, I go over those in a second here. But uh, I picked out a bunch of details on it. That shows out the back end. Um, then I took the game color Vallejo paints and uh, painted the engine rather than trying to get in there with the Sharpie. Once the engine was finished being painted silver, I did, for some reason, <laughs> I just decided I wanted to paint the top of the fins on the engine red. And I painted what I believe is the distributor uh, cap on the back behind the engine. Um, I painted that red too. It just seemed like something Ferrari might do just for fun. Um, so I did add more detail than this had originally. And since that silver had dried up at this point, I did go over those tail light sections with the uh, clear red Tamiya paint, which you've seen me use before. This, I, I thought this would shine through really well through the holes in the casting but it's so far recessed into the body that unless you're looking really closely, you can't really see it. Since I didn't, I wanted to keep the interior compartment kind of that bone color. And so that's why I masked it off when I shot the body. I shot that interior section with the semi-gloss black. And then I used the null oil. And, and here it's hard to tell, but I'm using the capillary action because the null oil is so thin to draw it into those ridges in the interior seat section. I did also do a very light detail of the steering wheel and the, the uh, shift knob, what appears to be the shift knob, um, with silver paint as well. Now, there you see the sections. And it's just interesting how this fits together. You see how there's a tab on the back of that, and that interior section pops over that. And then that tab comes into play again. There you see how the paint turned out. I'm, re I'm really happy with uh, how that worked. The glass looks better in these pictures than it does in person. <laughs> For complete disclosure. <laughs> um, yeah, and and... It also helps the glass being near that interior. If you just hold the glass up to the light, you see the imperfections in it. But when it has that behind it, it almost um, hides it in a way. And then I just used a little CA glue to hold this back together. Again, there's, you're not putting a screw in this thing. It, it has a, just that odd little wedge of plastic that holds it together. One thing that it just seemed missing to me, I was looking at the car and I'm really happy with it at this point, but I'm looking at it and there's something missing. <laughs> yeah, got out the army painter paint, got out the yellow, put it on, t on a toothpick and I put the uh, Ferrari emblem on the hood. So this was a relatively quick build. I mean, it had a lot of odds and ends going on, but uh, it was a fun and quick build. There you see how beat to hell this thing is. And that glass, 
that's not just dirt there. That's just an odd corrosion that was there. So that's where I started. And again, just look at the filth in the back. That's not paint. That's all bone colored and that's filth that's on there. Here you see the finished product. And I'm really happy with this. I, I hoped that the car would turn out looking this good. I wasn't sure. Once I, once I got the, the dirt and grime off of it, I wasn't sure where it was going to go. I knew it was going to be better just being cleaned up. But I wasn't sure, I was really concerned about the paint, to be honest, how that was going to turn out. It turned out well. So um, I hope you like this build, too. It, uh, it's different. I know the purists are probably out there shaking their heads, but hey, you do with your Ferrari what you want to do. I do what I want with my Ferrari. <laughs> There's some glamour shots here. Uh, the Molotow chrome on the wheels did definitely help as well. Thanks for coming along on these builds. This one's a little different since really the only metal on this casting right now is in the motor. <laughs> and it doesn't run. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just there to, to hold the axle. But again, hope you like this. Uh, check out my other builds. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please think about it. Check out some of my other videos. Thanks to all of you who come along with me on these, and uh, I hope we have a lot more fun ones in the future. Thanks also to my Patreon members for all of their support. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.